Hello everyone, my name is Prem and today I'm going to demonstrate how to automate the testing of mobile applications. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to use a tool called Appium. Now Appium is an open source tool that some of you would know and it's built on top of the Selenium WebDriver. What it does is it allows you to test or rather automate your tests for your iOS and Android applications and it can work with native applications it can work with your hybrid application HTML5 I, native combined and since it uses the Selenium WebDriver protocol it also allows you to use your favorite programming languages or your dev tools which are supported by Selenium. So um, the purposes of this demo uh, we are not going to go into the details of how to set up the infrastructure or how to write the test cases. Um, what we would do is we would I have this app here cool cards and we are going to use and pre-existing test case that I had written to test this app and see how uh, Appium allows you to execute the test case without clicking on any of the buttons or any of the interfaces. So what I have here is an iOS app. Um, it lists down a number of cars up here and what it allows you to do is a simple static list uh, it allows you to edit them you can delete any of them by clicking the button um, what you can also do is you can add a new car uh, you see here uh, let me remove that and what it allows you to do is you can go in you can rate any of the cars you can change pictures but this being a simulator doesn't have any pictures so I won't go in there so very simple app uh, but would serve the purposes for our demonstration so uh, what we need here is a server so basically what I have here is I have an Appium server which I will run in this window the top part of the screen and it will run on localhost on this port and it will connect to my iPhone so I have an iPhone connected to this Mac and uh, the Appium server will ensure that any commands that I give in this lower window this is where I will execute the test case this is a Java test case and I'm using test10g to run the test cases. So uh, let me quickly go ahead and make sure bring my iPhone up on the screen. So for that I'm using this reflector application uh, and I am mirroring it and here you go. So if you see this is how it's mirrored and so we have this app and whatever I do on my app you can see it up on the screen so I'm going to bring it up here to the right and let me quickly show you the test case so what I've done is this is a smoke test run what it does is it does a series of steps it clicks through the app as I was showing you the same app there it goes in, it goes into the cars, it tries to delete some of them, it tries to add a new car and basically it runs through the whole cycle of things and exits. So this is a test case I've written in Java and I am using testng to run this test case. So going to our terminal, so as I said the top half is for the Appium server, the bottom half is for the test case. So let me run this Appium server. So what you would see is on your screen you would see some commands coming up. The Appium server just started. 
so it's listening on port 4723 and it's using the Xcode instruments which is the testing framework provided by Apple and is part of Xcode so now that we have the Appium server running we have this my mobile phone mirrored up here on the screen what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this test case so it'll take up some time so what it does is basically it takes this file if you see this cool card start app this is the only thing it needs it doesn't make so you see the app coming up here and very soon you will see the test case is running so basically as I was saying you just need this app file for iOS applications for Android applications you need the APK file you don't need to make any changes to your application mobile application you don't need to inject any code you don't need to put any hooks there uh, without making any changes it allows you to run the tasks so it takes up a few minutes to load up the test of course uh -huh. and while the test is loading oh it's come up yeah so you will see a number of logs up here and you will see so if you see here it goes into one of the Honda uh, cars then goes into the Mercedes one um, I guess it'll try to delete one of them now yep deleted the Volvo it's going to add a new one and it's going to give my name up there I don't have any images to add as such so basically this is a simple test run it as you saw it went in to a couple of cars it deleted one of them and from the list it added a new one to the list and kind of run through the whole gamut of things so for a real application you would have number of test cases this is just a simple demonstration uh, and let us quickly go and see the test results so what we have here is uh, this is the setup I have as I said uh, this was the test ng file that I ran so it ran one this test case this is a Java class and the test output is up here so if I go in and open this okay so it shows that basically this uh, this uh, the smoke test was run and it ran successfully if there would have been any errors this color would have changed to red and it would have shown what are the methods which were passed which passed tests and the ones that failed of course I don't have any assert statements up here uh, this being a demonstration uh, but yeah so with Appium what you can do is you can very quickly write up your test cases using the Selenium WebDriver APIs uh, you can use languages um, I use Java here you can use C Sharp you can use Ruby you can use Python or PHP uh, you can even code your tests in Node.js and it will run up your test cases pretty simple um, and very easy to use. Thank you.